Federal authorities say more than 260 people accused of violent crimes are under arrest following a multi-county operation across the state of Wisconsin. A lot of people. Fox 6's Angelica Sanchez has more on the arrest numbers and what police uncovered. Inside the federal courthouse. Earlier this year, we were asked by the attorney general and our director to focus on the upward trend of violent crime in our communities. U.S. Marshals and local law enforcement are announcing the results of an operation focusing on people accused of violent crimes. This operation went from from the Kenosha border of Illinois all the way up to the UP border. Operation Triple Beam Honey Badger ran from May 22nd through July 31st. Those people are hiding out in our communities and frequently committing other crimes while they're still wanted for something. The U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force arrested 268 people, but these arrests cleared 860 warrants, meaning some of these individuals were wanted for multiple offenses. The targets of this operation and the targets that we normally go after are violent. For example, 47 of those arrested face homicide charges, 220 of them face a narcotics charge, and 60 of them are facing sex crime charges. Not to mention 81 of them are wanted in connection with a non-fetal shooting. U.S. Marshals say nearly $1 million in narcotics are now off the street. Drugs seized include cocaine, heroin, fentanyl, and marijuana. I'm proud to say that not one citizen offender or law enforcement personnel was injured in the execution of this endeavor. More than 3,000 rounds of ammunition are now off the street, along with 84 firearms. U.S. Marshals say 122 of those arrested were not supposed to have a gun in the first place. If the cities that we operate in and work in are a little safer today than they were on May 22nd, regardless of how many arrests or seizures were made, this operation is a success. In Milwaukee, Angelica Sanchez, Fox 6 News.